Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It is 1053 in Honolulu, 353 in New York on Tuesday, 27th day of February 2014 and this is the evening report for gold and silver. Although gold is trading higher, fractionally higher, up 40 cents, it is trading well near the lows of the day. Today, early in New York, gold traded to 249.10, is currently at 239.40, and has gone as low as $2,038.10. Silver continues to decline in price, nothing like yesterday's almost 2% drop, but nonetheless, silver today lost 6.5 cents or 0.29% taking the March contract to $22.46. What we do want to watch is the low came in precisely at the 78.6% Fib retracement, which is a level for potential support. But when we look at these two lows here, the one that came in the 14th of February and the one that came in on the 23rd of January, any break below this price point, $22.39, would challenge these lows at approximately $22 per ounce. The dollar was slightly higher on the day, gaining 0.01%. The dollar index is currently fixed at 103.76. What we can say is since the 12th of February, we have seen a solid decline in the dollar and that weakness has been supportive of gold last week and has not helped gold or silver this week. This first chart is a Henkin Ashi daily chart. And the reason for looking at it first is that we do want to acknowledge that absolutely we saw a defined and pretty strong pivot from bearish to bullish when the market hit lows just below $2,000. And what we are witnessing is still, even with the two down days, a bullish trend. But it is a bullish trend that is waning and could, in fact, turn into a continuation of this bearish trend at any time. Candle size over the last two days, which are red in a Japanese candlestick chart, are still green, but they both have upper and lower wicks. More so when we convert the Henkinashi back into a standard candlestick, a couple things jump out at me first. Today's candle contains an exceedingly small real body, meaning it's very much like a doji. The long upper tail, though, makes it also look like an inverted hammer or a shooting star. Because the market has been in an uptrend, we would label that a shooting star, but it would have to be in a position above this green candle. But what we can say is it's ominous. Secondly, the fact that it has closed just below this support line that then became resistance when gold fell below it, and we thought possibly move back to support. If that's the case, it was short-lived at best. Gold is still trapped between its resistance based on the 50-day simple moving average and support based on the simple 100-day moving average. Therefore, until we get a clearer picture as to whether or not we will see any kind of uptrend redevelop or if we see gold now reverse back to the downside before entering a trade. Secondly, with the PCE coming out on Thursday, caution is the most important thing we can think about when deciding whether or not to put on a trade prior to the release of the inflation report. Therefore, for right now, we will remain flat with no active trades in gold. Traders, as you know, I was pretty bearish on Friday's report. That was this update here, and I maintain that demeanor. 
Of course, we got a strong sell a couple of days ago. Today, we had a low that came in to match the 78.6% Fib retracement at 2239. But I believe the real test is that should silver continue lower, which I believe it could, it is the area that comes in at $22 based on this low here and this low here because those really are where traders will look to see if silver is truly oversold as it gets near that area. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.